So of course there's a whole story behind this car and why we built it and why it looks like this and why it's themed after a pack of Japanese mints. Um, I'll explain it more to you guys when we get to Scuba in the morning. We have a test day coming up. Just got this car wrapped up in time and uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool, interesting story and uh, the new race car for the year. Okay, so we're at the step now where we need to apply the gigantic Mintia livery logo onto the side of the car, which is probably the most difficult part because it's gigantic and we need to figure out how to get the A to wrap around the door handle. So that's gonna take a while, but everything oh, looks good yeah. so far. Yeah. You need a lot of heat. You're gonna change the shape of the door handle. Shape it? <laughs> yeah, everything looks good so far. <laughs> or down? No, the oh, oh, the angle, yeah. yeah. He needs to turn more. So please don't follow how we're doing it because we are not professionals and we have no idea what we're doing. So looks cool though. The yeah. pot potential of it looking good if we do it right, it's good. But if we screw it up, then yeah, it's gonna be bad. Starting to come together. Huh? Looks really good now. Looks sick. Hardest part is the door handle right there because it's too many curves and it has to be flexible. So that's the tough part. But other than that, everything kind of worked out. That's exactly how the render is. Actually, it probably looks better than the render. this weekend for some testing right. changing Stop. brake fluid right now and uh got to change the radiator and just miscellaneous stuff but it's like almost one in the morning but still at it at least delivery is uh pretty much complete i would say like 85 percent so we got a couple things to do but the car looks good Yeah, so it's done for now. Super happy with how it came out. It looks pretty legit, honestly, I think. It came out better than we expected. Just uh, the color choices and laying it on was kind of difficult, but kind of made it work. 
the M got screwed up on the other side, so we had to get another one cut and printed and reapplied, but yeah. For a scuba test day, it looks good. Just adding some final touches to the car, like the driver's names and everything, and we're pretty much good to go. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty badass. Really happy with how it came out. This is like one of the better things that we've done over the years. <laughs> This is it guys, the end result. This is the brand new Exceed Chronicles No Good Racing Mintia Cold Smash EK4. So we just wrapped this car up yesterday at the shop. Finished putting all the livery and putting in a new radiator and stuff, but yeah. This is a culmination of a few months work. I guess I designed the livery like October, I think, last year when I was here in Japan. He also wanted a, a new race car because he wanted to do new circuit stuff and so he acquired an old EK4 SIR from Racing Gear. I think he bought it through auction or I don't know how he bought it but he got it from somewhere and it's a old one make race Civic race car. I think they raced it at like Suzuka Clubman and stuff but it's an EK4 SIR still has a B16 in it. Very much a very simple uh, bone stock, I guess, other other than, like there wasn't even an intake or a header on here. It still has an OEM exhaust manifold on it, but it has a Mugen N1 ECU, which you can see here. And a single bucket seat, fuel cell, an ATL fuel cell inside that box right there. This is the original Mugen cage. The seat is Yasu's, he added that, as is the Nardi wheel with the Battlecraft uh, quick release and the Battlecraft shift knob. But other than that, the car came as is. So I use, as you can see, it's still kind of beat up. This part hasn't been redone yet. Eventually it's going to get repainted and everything, so it's going to be nice in here. But the engine bay is also very much just how it was when we acquired the car. The main thing was just getting the livery done. and. I wanted to do something a little bit more modern, but still kind of traditional, I guess. So I wanted to still be very Japanese. And my friends and I always joked about doing a minty livery on a car because it's our favorite mint. And uh, we thought it'd be cool just because it's like very in your face, you know? So we thought it'd be cool just to do this livery. And in October, I kind of whipped it up on my computer, not knowing how to use Illustrator or anything. So I kind of had to relearn Illustrator just so I could draw these individual Mintia pieces on here. That wasn't the most fun in the world, but that probably took the most amount of time. But other than that, yeah, the vinyl color is spot on with how the rendering is. Yasu did a great job of cutting and laying everything down. And this, actually this orb right here, this glowing orb is painted on the car. It's not a print at all. All this stuff is print, but everything else, we just stuck on yesterday so we kind of screwed up the M on this side so we had to reprint it and relay it down because we couldn't figure out how to get it over the door handle I guess we didn't heat it enough or we just didn't know what the hell we were doing but that's fixed and yeah it came out exactly how I envisioned it I love the colors and uh, this yellow I, th I think should be more uh, yellow but that's fine because eventually the car's gonna have yellow tint and yellow headlights as well just because on the packaging, yellow is a, it's a big reoccurring theme in the packaging. Where is it? It's in my pocket. Oh, I lost it. But I had a minty package to just show you guys, but I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. As you can see, the yellow plays a very prominent role. So, that's like the, it's literally on the hood. But the windows are supposed to be yellow. We're just waiting for acrylic uh, glass to come in, Luxan. 
just to get rid of this glass and then probably have to relay this part down after the yellow tint. But you know, other than that, the car, this is how the car is going to look for 2024. This is like the fun race car that we have going on. And uh, our friend Yuma is driving it today and he's going to be the main driver. So his name's on the car and Ikigami is driving it also, but he has his EF here today. So I think most of his time is going to be spent driving that Jack's EF over there. Uh, yeah. Super stuck with how it looks. It's like a modern take on a traditional Japanese one make Civic car. So, there it is. So, as you can tell, the car looks pretty new from the outside, but the engine bay is still very bare bones. Could use some work. Look at what they did. None of this work is done by Yasu, by the way, but this is how the previous shop owner did, or car owner did this. This is the oil breather setup. Advance into the windshield washer fluid tank. This intake we just had laying around, so we put it on. Before it had a full air box and intake tube set up, and uh, it was just very much stock. There was just no filter inside, so it was literally just an empty box. But P16 still in there. The radiator's new. It had a weird, like, European, like, Vauxhall radiator in here for some reason. And it was like a full-sized one, but that was not working really well anymore just because it was really old. But, yeah, still lots of work to do. I think eventually the engine's going to come out and they're going to swap. New trans, B18 maybe, and then paint the engine bay and all that stuff just to really refresh in the car. aren't as crazy as you'd normally see as a tack because it's not an attack event it's just like a track day but still have some cool cars like Ikigami's EF here get some extra seat time in there since he's never driven on here before so just to see how he does but this EF here is a pretty new build too it's a Mokotu from Magunamu Racing he had a I think he had an all silver EF9 before that he wrecked and he bought a new chassis and did this livery on it um, I forget what car it's actually from, but it's a pretty well-known livery. I think it was probably from an EG or something, but uh, it didn't look very fun to put on because you gotta put all the, the VTEC logos on there and stuff. But it's actually a pretty popular TikToker here in Japan. He does a bunch of car TikToks and stuff and like makes appearances at car shows and stuff. Funny dude, I've known him for a long time now. <laughs> Dude's always all smiles. It's cool to see Kansai EF9s out here in Tokyo. It's scuba. Not a normal sight, I guess because it's an eight hour drive that we have to endure to get here. In case I forgot to show you guys, here's another unique aspect of having a Civic race car here. You don't need to know how fast you're going. You just need to know if the engine's gonna blow up or not. So all you get is a tack. And water temp and oil temp, kill switch, fire extinguisher, you get N1 ECU, full Mugen cage, that's all you need, just the bare bones, necessities.
Okay. So we got 18 inch CE right here. Yeah, 18 inch. Okay, 18 by 10, 18 by 11 maybe. Looks like he's done for the day. So wrapping it up. Great, very aggressive. Air walker front bumper, it's been customized. Custom front splitter, custom front fenders. Type C in the back, the custom rear wing and everything. We've got some testing done before attack this year, as many are doing here today. There's the Yellow Factory EG over here, with the chopped roof and everything. I love seeing this car every time I come to Scuba because literally every time I come to Scuba, this car's here, no matter what. Even though I'm mostly here for attack. Staggered too. KP Racing brakes. It's custom color. Also rare to see NSX with a single exhaust.
that runs stock. That's the noise. Uh, the belt's on the track somewhere. Oh yeah, no more belt. I know. It's on the track somewhere. <laughs> your belly anymore so nice oh, <laughs> Weren't we supposed to change the belt the other day? That's a new one? That's a new belt? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So our belt's somewhere out there on the track. Oh, under the car. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> the belt's too small, Yasu. <laughs> That's why. Oh, yeah.
So, Mokotu hit the barrier, heard his brakes lock up, like, after the long straight, but hopefully the car is okay. Because he literally just finished that car. He's our resident TikTok star from here in Japan. Oh, car starts. That was good. Oh, the front end looks pretty smashed up though. Because it did hit that foam barrier. So. TikTok. Heijoshin <laughs> 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 Yeah? No. The wheel's still in the same place. Yeah. Already too far back. Successful day, no damage to the car. The only thing we broke was a belt, but the car is intact. Yuma got a lot of seat time in the car and yeah, we're good to go. Couldn't have asked for a better day here at Scuba. Maybe Axel is bad. Yeah. It takes a lot of the mechanical stuff. Yeah. Like we're not here to win anything. Like the fastest time this thing went was like a 106 with Yuma driving and with Ikigami driving and we did like a 104. It's fairly quick for what it is, but it's just for fun. It's not like a competition car or anything. It just gives our friends a chance to drive more on the circuit and me and Yasi more reason to build cool shit. You know? Now, the most difficult thing we have to deal with is getting back home because we got another car to pick up uh, over in Chiba and then we have like an eight hour drive back to Osaka and none of us have slept at all. I think Yasi got like an hour nap. We went to stuff like 20 minutes. 
So it's gonna be a rough one, but hopefully we get home safely. Thank you.